Good morning, everyone. This is Darren from Daily Crypto Trade Signals coming to you live from Asia. Hopefully, you guys have a great morning in Asia and a happy, happy evening in America. We have an action packed video for you guys today. You guys need to watch the video right to the end. Something big is going to happen on July 28th. Let's get into it. Let me give a big shout out to Roland in the house, all my subscribers, all my members, Dustin, Boa, all you guys. Thanks for all your support uh, and thank you for being part of this journey. Remember, none of this is uh, financial advice, guys. This is just me offering my opinions. So, guys, watch out for nasty scammers in the comments. Woohoo! Let's get it. Doge going to the moon, guys. Doge spread in love. Doge spread in love. Guys, don't forget to hashtag Doge spread in love. Anytime you uh, send out anything on Twitter, don't forget to hashtag that out. And, guys, copy the links of all my videos on your social. Get the message out for me. Guys, so we got some really big news coming for you. Uh, as, you guys, as you guys know, as everybody knows, as the guys and gals, as everybody knows, on July 28th, Congress, there's going to be a congressional hearing uh, where Congress will, Congress and the SEC will uh, have uh, a discussion on about the oversight of cryptocurrencies moving forward. So on July 28th, the government is going to meet uh, and the SEC is going to uh, talk to the Congress and tell them what their plan is and how they're going to oversee and, and what kind of oversight they're going to have for cryptocurrency. So right now, I think one of the reasons that we're seeing a lot of sideways actions uh, with cryptocurrency is because people are waiting to see what the outcome of this uh, congressional meeting with the SEC uh, on crypto is going to going to uh, what's what's going to be the decision, guys? What's going to be the decision? Is it going to be gloom and doom, huge, you know, authoritarian crackdown? Ah, crack down, crack down. Or is it going to be, we don't care, we can't control it, let everybody go crazy. So, you know, I, I kind of got a feeling that uh, nothing much really is going to happen. It's just going to be a little bit of, uh, you know, uh, yeah, we should do this, we should do that, and we should discuss it, we should, uh, we should get back to blah, blah, blah. But, you know, if you, if you see that uh, about uh, two or three months ago, the SEC did issue a report that they were not going to have any new regulations this year for Bitcoin and crypto. So I think it's just going to be a, a much of a rehash on that. So you're seeing that I think a lot of the big institutional money is sitting on the sidelines and they're going to be waiting and they're going to be waiting and they're going to be waiting for this uh, this to finish and then, then there's going to be a huge in, inflow of institutional money back into crypto space. So that's really cool, guys. Uh, so that's why we're seeing a lot of range bound stuff and uh, that's why... Uh, Things are just kind of like, it's not, I mean, the crypto market's not bad now. It's not like, oh, oh, the sky's falling. Everything's going down. Oh, my God. It's not bad. It's, we're just going sideways, right? So it's like we're just spinning our wheels. So let's see what happens. You know, on the, so we got July 28th. We got the grayscale unlocking on the 18th. So let's see what happens, guys. So, you know, better days are ahead. Absolutely, I think better days are ahead. So another thing that's uh, coming out, uh, and I've talked about this, is that we're seeing, we're seeing, huge amounts of Bitcoin being accumulated, guys. Uh, Bitcoin, and Bitcoin refuses to go below 30K. And, uh, this is, and, and we're still seeing a strong accumulation. So even though we had uh, some of these negative days uh, just recently, Bitcoin is still refusing to go down below uh, 30K. So that's really indicative that the bulls are still in control of Bitcoin uh, during, uh, the bulls are still in control of Bitcoin uh, as long as Bitcoin, uh, you know, above above thirty thousand, so the bulls are still in control. They can't take Bitcoin past 30, 35,000. They haven't got that far. The bears are still in control. The nasty bears. The nasty bears. So the bulls and the bears are fighting it out. The bulls are absolutely able to keep Bitcoin over thirty thousand, but the bears are keeping the bulls down from Bitcoin going any any uh, higher than thirty five thousand. But let's see, because you know today we're retesting. You know, Bitcoin right now is retesting uh, lower end of 34,000. So maybe we'll get lucky, guys. Maybe we'll get lucky uh, here in Asia. And the Asian, the Asians, the, the, the dragons will be able to take uh, Bitcoin uh, to the higher higher next levels and get us over that 35,000 uh, mark. Because the 35,000, it's just, we keep hitting it, rejected. He keep hitting, rejected. So we, maybe we need the Asian, uh, the Asian traders, the Asian, uh, the Asian guys and gals to uh, take Bitcoin to the next level. Woo, let's do it. Let's let's get Bitcoin up. And if Bitcoin goes up, you know, my doge, my doge, doge spread in love. It's going to get to the next level, guys. So, guys, keep watching the video. Don't drop off. Keep watching.
keep watching. We got some really good, cool stuff going on right now. So, you know, even during this downtrend, we're still seeing investors are still accumulating. This is a this is a good sign that they're they're still buying, they're still accumulating, and they're hodling. You can see the chart. The increasing amount of of hodling and accumulation is on the rise, and it's actually hitting all time highs. So we're seeing a lot of accumulation and hodling. You can see the chart, and it's hitting you know uh, all time highs. So this really means that people are buying the Bitcoin cheap. They're moving it off exchanges. They're hodling, and that can only mean one thing. They know something big's coming. I think something big is coming. And, you know, this bull run is far from over. It's far from over. So all the weak Nazis that keep wetting the bag going, ah, ah, stop it. Grow up, and we're going to get there together. Guys, you know, we still, the year's not over. I mean, I don't think we're going to be in the top part of the bull run till the fall, you know, till September, October, November, December. That's when things are really going to be steaming. People are going to be going, oh, I'm so happy I invested in Doge. I'm so happy. I'm making lots of money. Oh, oh the euphoria is going to come back. I know that a lot of people are like sad. And, ah, yeah. You know, I can just see that. Even the views uh, the views of my videos are dropping off because people are like, I don't care about Dogecoin. I don't care about the OG. <laughs> care about the OG, okay? Okay? Get the love out there. Show some love for the OG. Watch the videos to the end. Damn it. Can I say damn it? I just did. Uh oh hopefully I don't get demonetized. All right, guys. So you can see that you know there's a lot of a lot of really good stuff everything is pretty bullish and you can also see that in the chart there's a bullish there's absolutely a bullish trend above 30k uh, so you can see the chart so we're really anything over 30k we're bullish 35,000 boom resistance bang smack all right so let's jump into doge where's my doge right now my doge my doge my doge so doge spread in love so let's get into the Doge and see where we are right now. So Dogecoin right now is trading at uh, 21, 2128, and it's up uh, almost 1%, so that's pretty good. Uh, but you know, Doge, it just can't break past my 20-day moving average. You know, let's forget about the 50-day move average. That's like, where is that? So we really need to break past the 20-day moving average. We're getting real close today. You can see that, uh, you know, the, the pink line, the pink line, we're getting really close to that. And our next resistance level is uh, 24 cents. So we need to blow past 24 cents. We're not quite there yet. Uh, and then we, we have a big support level at 19 cents. So as long as we stay above that, and if we can blast past the 20 day moving average guys, then I really see that we have a really big chance to get our excels back up to 24 cents. Because we're not gonna hit 30 till we get past my 24 cent resistance. It's actually 23.9 to be technical, to technical. But let's just say 24, 24 cents to make it easy to remember. So we really need to get past the 20 day moving average. Today we were just, we keep tapping it, reject it clunk tap clunk tap clunk so we really need to get above that i think we're going to do it you know we're going to do it Woo, let's go doge going to the moon guys all right so let's jump into the uh, technicals so right now the market cap is 1.42 trillion guys we're up 1.2 percent so it's a green day a green monday here in asia and the volume's at 752 billion and that's down 6.5 percent that's because uh you know, the it's still Sunday night in America, so people are spending time watching the TV and watching this OG YouTube. So get get watching, guys. Get watching. Get smashy, smashy, smashy the likes. So Bitcoin right now, as I said earlier, is at 34,122, and that's plus 1.59%. Ethereum is at uh, 2,141. That's almost 1%. So we're still staying above 2,000. So hooray for Ethereum. You know, we got the EIP uh, 1559 coming out on August 4th. So keep your guys, keep your eyes peel i think ethereum should take off if that rolls out on time if it doesn't roll out on time eh, 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 we could be going down a little bit so uh bnb is up at two percent and that's at uh, three two three and ada is at one dollar thirty five cents and we're up uh, only uh, 0.34 percent and my doge is up almost one percent guys and we're at twenty one two eight so guys hopefully you enjoyed this video i enjoyed doing this video for you so guys don't forget once again smash the likes guys smash Comment. You guys have to comment. Keep the comments respectful and try to keep the comments positive. But I'm a con I respect all contrary opinions. So if you got something negative to say, just keep it polite, keep it respectful. Don't be vitriolic, okay? And guys, subscribe right now. Subscribe to the video. Subscribe to OG. Show some love. And guys, become members. Come on. What are you waiting for? Become members. I want you to become members. All right, guys. Check out my links. Merch, NFTs, free charting tool. Who wouldn't want a free charting tool? So guys, God bless you all. Watch this video to the end, watch it again, 
post it on your social. Get the message out there. I love you guys to death. I'll see you in the next one at uh, 12 noon, Bangkok time. Woohoo! Feel the energy. Feel the good vibe. The good vibe spreading love. All right, let's go.